Welcome back to Fun with Canvas. In today's session, I will be showing you how to create this announcement box inside your Canvas page. This announcement box could be aligned to the left, aligned to the right, change the colors. It could be a scrolling text or a static. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Hey, my name is Bhavani Kola. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, this channel is all about educational tools, tips, and technology. So if you don't want to miss out on all the fun, please make sure you subscribe. So here I'm in my Canvas page, and if you've been watching my previous videos, you know we always use some HTML coding in here. So I highly recommend and request you to watch my previous videos so you just have a better understanding of what this code means, because we do have a little bit of coding in today's session. So again, this is my rich text editor, and this is what my suggestion is. Go ahead, complete your Canvas page first, and the last step is to add your announcements. So I went ahead and filled it up with some random text, and now let me go ahead and add my announcement box. To do that, I will toggle to my HTML editor. Let me zoom in, and I'm gonna go all the way to the top, even before the paragraph begins, and paste my code. And once I paste the code, before I explain what the code means, I want you to go ahead and see what the code does. So I'm going to click, and this is what my code has done. It has placed an announcement box all the way to the right-hand side in my Canvas page. Now you can go ahead and change the topic right here. But before I do that, let me go ahead and paste some text so you can see that I don't have to go back into my coding. I can paste whatever I want in my announcements right here. So I'm going to click on it and I'm going to paste some random text. And there I place my text. So as you can see, I placed the text here and it's automatically, let me scroll up it's automatically creating that scroll for me, so I don't have to do anything. You don't have to plug in the entire page here, but I'm just trying to show you that once you have your code, you can go ahead and plug whatever you want, and this automatically adjusts itself to whatever you have plugged in. Now, once this is done, I can go ahead and underline it. Um, I can change the font, make it bold, change the colors. I can do whatever I want right here. And let me go back and undo all of this. And once this is done, I can go and click on my announcements right here and I can change to whatever I want. So instead of saying announcement, I'm going to say Im, um, important, please read. So it's as simple as that. You go ahead, paste your code, go back to your rich text editor and edit your text right here and right here. It could be a whole page. It could be multiple paragraphs. It will automatically adjust itself to whatever you're pasting. Now that we have seen how to edit the message, how to edit the heading, now let's go ahead and see how we can change the colors, the borders. So let me toggle to my HTML editor and let me, you know what, before I do that, let me clean up this text so it's not so confusing for us when we look at the code. So I'm going to delete this. I'm going to go back here. And if you think the width is too much, I'm going to show you how you can adjust the width and height as well. So I'm going to toggle to my HTML editor. Like always, I am going to zoom in. And again, this is a division that you're creating. Float right is, that means your text is floating right. Now let me change it to float left and show you. As you can see, it has been moved to the left. And let's go back. And here is your background color. You can change it to whatever color you want. Again, please make sure you are not plugging in bright colors, making sure you keep accessibility in mind. So go ahead, pick any color from here. I'm going to pick this color, copy it, go back, and I'm going to change it to that particular color. And now let's take a look, and as you can see, completely change to the different color. I don't want that. Did you enjoy the video so far? If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I will be making many more fun with canvas videos just for you. I'm going to undo that. And again, here is the width. Uh, the width is how wide it is. Now let's just say you don't want it that long. You want it to 100 pixels in your height. So let's go back here. As you can see, it's quite small. Now you can change the width as well. The border is one pixel. You can change it to two pixels and you can change it to dotted as you know. 
you should be very familiar with borders by now. So there you go. It has two pixels and it's a dotted border. But I like to keep it solid. And again, the margin is how many pixels you want it to be from your left, right, up and down. So if you put your margin as negative 10 pixels, let's go back. It's very close to the page but I'm going to go ahead and change it to 10 pixels. I highly recommend playing with each and everything so you know how it looks and what it does. And then here is how your announcement, that is your heading, is going to look. This is the color. This is the background. If you don't like to change it here, you can always go ahead and change it right here. Highlight it and change the color to yellow. There you go. It has changed to yellow, but I'm just going to change it to white so you can read it better. So you don't have to go, for this one, you don't have to go into your HTML coding. You can change it from right here. And so is the case here too. You can change and edit the text because Canvas does give us those functionalities. Now let's go back and here, one thing I wanna show you is how you can change the color of this particular announcement box. So let me go back. And as you can see, this is the color, background color. If I change this to completely to white, I'm just going to say white and oops, I changed the wrong one. Change it to white and there you go. It has completely changed to white. So please go ahead and play with all these codings so you know what it is. So this is the background color of your announcement box. This is the background color of your heading because it is right next to your H3, which is your heading again. And this division is just telling you that that is your announcement box. And as you can see, I have hidden the X, the overflow of X and overflow of Y. And I'm telling you that it will automatically adjust. And if you want more padding, you can always do that. And this text alignment is how your text will be aligned inside your announcement box. So you can go ahead and change that to left, right, center, however you want it. Or you can simply select your text and use your alignments inside your canvas to change them to center, to change them to right as well. If you don't want to mess with the coding, you can do that as well. So again, this is your code for your announcement. You will go ahead, complete your Canvas page, paste the code, and then play with the colors, the width, the border. And by now you should know what exactly each of them mean because you've been doing so much of HTML in my videos. And again, all the coding will be given to you in the description box. So don't forget to check the description box as well. Stay tuned for the next video where we will be creating vertical tabs inside one page where you can have a tab with the image. You can have a tab with your paragraph or your text, or you can have a tab with your text and your image. I hope you enjoyed this session. I hope you learned how to create announcement boxes inside your Canvas pages. If you did, please make sure you like and subscribe. And if you think it's worth sharing, please go ahead and do so because I know there are educators who are wanting to learn more. I will leave a link in the description box below for my entire Canvas videos. Do check them out. And don't forget to comment in the comment section below. If you're liking this HTML, do you want me to make more videos? What do you feel? Is this too overwhelming? Don't hesitate to let me know. Like always, happy teaching. Please take care of yourself and I will see you again in my next Canvas video.